So, hello everybody, um, Abby here from Propagate again and um, I'm going to make a short video here about my favourite perennial plant, comfrey. Comfrey is the best perennial plant in the world. If you want to improve your organic garden, you have to have this in your garden, you have to have it. Um, really easy to grow and, uh, and here's why it's brilliant. So comfrey is really amazing source of nitrogen and potassium and even a little bit of phosphorus and those are the three macronutrients that all plants need for growth. Nitrogen for green leafy growth, potassium is for fruit and flowers and phosphorus is for root development. Comfrey you can plant it around the edges of your garden um, and it has this really super long tap root that draws up nutrients from deep in the soil and it spreads those nutrients around to other plants uh, in other places around the garden. It's very, very generous. Um, it's got these beautiful purple flowers. See the beautiful purple, purple flowers? So these haven't quite opened completely, but when they do, this little comfrey bush will be alive with bees. You have to make sure you get this variety of comfrey in your garden. There's a yellow flower variety as well that creeps along the ground. Does have some of the same nutrient quantity uh, qualities, but not quite as good. So, in addition to just having it in the garden as a source of uh, joy for pollinators and to spread the nutrients around, you can also do two fabulous things with comfrey. And one is to make a comfrey tea. That's not tea for you to drink, that's tea for the plants to drink. Uh, and the other is to use it as a surface mulch. Um, the third option, of course, is just to put it into the compost. So I'm going to show you next how to make comfrey tea and also how to use surface mulch. So first thing I'm going to do is harvest some of the big leaves. And you can just pull the leaves off like this. It's very, like I said, it's very generous and it'll, it will just grow back. It doesn't mind at all. We've got some leaves, let's go and see what we can do with them. Okay, so making a comfrey tea. Um, as I said, that's tea for the plants, not tea for you. This is basically making a liquid fertiliser. So all plants need nutrients um, and at various times of the year we have to feed them. Now I make a comfrey brew, I keep the comfrey brew on all the time and I feed pretty much all my plants with a little bit once a week. So what do you need? You need a bucket very simple and ideally that bucket should have a lid that would be ideal it doesn't have to have but it probably should have um, the lid should fit I tend to take mine off now in a true blue Peter styley here's one I made earlier looks disgusting doesn't it <laughs> looks really manky um, so and it smells pretty gross as well um, so like basically what I've done here is got a whole load of leaves like this and I've ripped them up like that and I've chucked them into this bucket and then I've poured water on top of it. Um, every so often I'm adding in some extra leaves like so. Uh, so I've done that a few times in the last few weeks. Um, and I'm going to get a stick and poke that in a bit, give it a mix. Yep, that looks gross. And you know when your comfy tea is ready because it really should smell disgusting. It should smell quite like, well, organic fertiliser, really. Um, yeah, so I would dilute that uh, in the watering can, roughly one part comfrey uh, to ten parts water. Um, so don't put it on neat. That would be maybe over nutrifying your plants. Um, so do dilute it. And like I say, once a week, especially for those plants that are really, really hungry. Um, so let's go and meet some really hungry plants. So amongst your hungriest plants in the garden, that's ones that need the most amount of nutrifying um, and fertiliser, uh, you'll find your courgettes or your squashes um, are probably uh, in that department. So to use comfrey as a surface mulch, it's very straightforward. And a surface mulch is good for two different things or a few different things. Firstly, um, when you lay the comfrey on the soil, 
the nutrients are drawn down into the soil and pretty much instantly taken up by the plants, which is just fantastic. Um, it's also on a really hot days like, like we're getting at the moment, uh, a mulch is really good for water retention uh, because it stops the sun from penetrating into the soil and drying out the roots. Um, and the third really uh, useful reason for mulching generally is suppressing weeds. Um, so if the weeds can't get through to the light, then they're very much, much more likely to, to die off underneath. So using comfrey as your surface mulch, very simple, it's just like this. So here is a very small comfrey plant. And I'm just going to lay the leaves around the plant. It's really just making a little blanket for it. It's very sweet. Um, yeah, so there ends this very short tutorial on how to use comfrey. Like I said, it's very easy to grow. Uh, it's a bit late in the season to get it started in your garden now. Um, but if you get in touch with us at Propagate um, towards the end of the year, uh, autumn and spring are the best time to, to split them. Like all perennials, you split them when they're in their dormant season. Um, so we can supply root cuttings and um, that should get your comfrey, your comfrey plants going very nicely. Um, as always, if you like what you're seeing and you appreciate the, the good gardening vibes, um, then like and share and donate to our PayPal because we don't have any funding to do this. Thank you.